morning. Adam's Nub. We're going to Adam's Nub. Hopefully. Hopefully. Hopefully make it for sunrise. Uh, Hopefully not fogged in. Hopefully not fogged in. Hopefully not gonna get snowed on, rained on, stormed on. <laughs> that pops at home, he's sleeping. Yeah, he's sleeping. Uh, slacker. Slacking all as always, but not too bad. Pretty good temperature. A little nippy, but what time is it? 452, we'll say. 452. 452. So sunrise is at seven. Is it that late? Yeah. Seven of seven actually. Oh, yeah, make it. So we are along the AT, kind of just getting started. When you first start, you'll go up some steps. It's not too bad, but the trail is uphill most of the way. About three quarters of a mile, you'll switch back over the ridge to the other side. And right there's a interesting little view of North Carolina. You can see the main 441 highway from there. The big thing about this trail is it's extremely rocky, rooty and rugged. So coming back down is always a challenge because of the joints and having to make a lot of steps. We've made it to the first junction, trail junction, which is the Sweat Heifer Trail Junction. We're 1.7 miles in. So lo and behold, Gatekeeper Oz is at the trail junction collecting fees. We're running the deal today though. What's the deal? Two for one. And obviously Oz works for National Park Service taking random money from people yeah, yeah. for no I'm reason. Bad, so. But here you want to stay straight. You don't want to turn. Keep left. Turn right. You don't want to go right. You want to go straight. And it's gotten quite foggy, which doesn't look good for us. We're hoping to get a sunrise at the Bunyan, but maybe we'll get some light rays. All right, so 2.7 miles in, we arrive at another junction. It's the Boulevard Trail Junction. Yep. So we're not going that way. That'll take you to Lacan. And the uh, jump off. Yeah, we're going towards the Bunyan. So we got another 1.3 miles to go to get there. Yep. Fog's still around, but it's in or out. And and Oz is showing up and taking your money. I've got a lot of employees. <laughs> we all look the same, but you gotta pay the bills. Yeah. So the good news is from this point on to the bunion is pretty much downhill. So you've done most of the uphill. And it's pretty. And it's a great spot. In so the light. In the light. Well, we made it to the bunion in time. It looks like we're gonna have a good one. I'm pretty stoked about that. We didn't know whether we'd have much of a view from the bunion. We've never actually done sunrise from this spot. Um, so it's first time for us. So we're getting our stuff ready. This guy looks pretty, pretty nice. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Charlie's Bunyan at sunrise.
right, we're through at the bunion. One last look. Here we go. Charles has his gummy bears packed, ready to go. Getting foggy. So we're gonna go back a different direction. Getting foggy. We came up this way. We're gonna go this way. Go down the dry sluice and then down Kephart. down to Adam's Knob. Really, that's the name, Adam's Knob. There's a name too. So if you're watching this video, we're not going to show you how to get here. It's super secret. Sorry. It's got part of the pizza all over. Yep. This butt slide. Adam's Knob. We're going to Adam's Knob. Here we are on the infamous, but not very well known Adam's Knob. It's just off of the real bunion. Uh, can't tell you how to get here again. Woo! So we've uh, arrived at our trail junction. We're going to take Dry Sluice Gap, 4.4 miles in from uh, um, Newfound Gap, and just 0.4 miles from the bunion. Dry Sluice is an interesting trail. Yeah, it's been uphill so far, but we just got started. Uh, it reminds me a lot of the boulevard. Follows a ridge most of the way so far. It's a little bit rocky spots, but actually a pretty nice trail. Kind of digging it. What say you, Oz? Not bad. I'm ready for the downhill portion. Ready for the downhill. But I'm surviving. We made it to we have made it to the next turn, which is the grassy branch trail. We don't know much about this trail, but grassy. Grassy. And a lot of branches. We don't know if it's grassy or not. But we turn right here. So we're about Maybe half a mile, quarter mile, now, probably not even half a mile, but down grassy branch trail. And we have went from a bunch of rocks to a nice smooth trail from an evergreen forest to a, I don't know what kind of forest this is, poplar now. And we have made two uh, dream crossings. It's a lot to do in under mud, half a mile. Mud pit. Yeah, oh yeah, and the mud pit. You know, there's a big mud bog. Well, we made it to the Kephart shelter. So we should be close to the junction, but Kephart shelter is an option if you want to do a little backpack along this route. There's a sign out there. So there's a tent down here. It's amazing. Hanging out. Normally, you ain't allowed to do tents, but during the COVID, you're allowed to do tents. So, we are officially on the Kephart Trail and decided to rate this one even lower than Grassy Branch. These rocks, rocks everywhere. Up over rocks. Constantly. Oh, his ankles hurt. Killing me. Stupid trail. So, we're still on the Kephart Trail. We're close to the end, about a mile left. Um, this river has gotten progressively wider. I don't know the name of this river. You know the name of this river, Oz? I think it's Mississippi. Mississippi. But our, our magic gnome will probably show you across the screen what this river's name is. But 
it's gotten progressively wider and lots of foot bridges um, but it's really the highlight of this trail is this river we finally made it back to the car right here? yep there's me uh, those so last few miles were kind of tough but we made it back uh, so thanks for joining us on a, another episode of adam's trail mix good day Oh, I'm stuck.